then on the third day of Christmas, along comes a Pexel with the electron microscope that I am not allowed to say I discovered. Okay, let me explain. This is the Apexel 100X microscope lens. I've already alluded to it. I've actually shown it to you before, but this is my hot tip recommendation for today, for day three of Christmas. This thing is not an electron microscope, it turns out. Seeing as I had already mentioned this as being an electron microscope because it has electrons in it, I thought I'd better check with our legal team. Now, I have two people on my legal team. Uh, one of them works in an office and the building has lawyers in it. She's the knowledgeable one. And the other half of my legal team doesn't really know anything about law, but she did get treatment for an addiction to law and order, whatever that is. So they said probably I shouldn't call it an electron microscope because it wasn't. And then Arlen asked his team of, uh, of New York attorneys uh, while he was getting his uh, uh, bracelet taken off and then put back on again the next day. We won't go into that, but that's why he's not here. They said the same thing. They said, no, you absolutely can't be calling it something it's not. So I still think it is though. So does that count? I'm gonna give away five of these today. Do you wanna know how to win one? You're gonna have to wait while I think it up. Here it is. This is it. It's a diminutive little fellow, but this thing is very interesting. It comes with, uh, if you open the right box, it comes with a wire. I've got another box. I've got two of them. It comes with a little um, rag for blowing your nose. If you have a runny nose while you're doing this, so it doesn't get on the specimen. And there you go. That's more like it. It has a wire and the wire plugs in. It takes two hours to charge the microscope. You have to plug it in and then plug it into your computer or plug it into something, uh, a, a wall outlet plug. And then this will take two hours to get completely full of electrons, but it's not an electron microscope. That doesn't sound believable, does it? Anyhow, then you can turn the light on by sliding the slide across and it doesn't have, oh dear, that's not a very good demonstration. I'll, I'll have to go with the other one, fingers crossed. So what we'll do is then we'll open it up with the slidey thing and the light will come on like this and that light will stay on for two hours, which is coincidentally the same amount of time you have to charge it for to get it back up again. So. This is it, this is the whole thing. So what makes this different than a magnifying glass that goes on your, on your phone? Well, several things. The fact that it's high powered, like a hundred times, is it a hundred times? It's not actually, it's 10 times. But they say it's a hundred times because your phone is already 10 times. So you have 10 times times 10 times, did you follow? It's complicated, that's a quadratic equation and it comes up to a hundred. So we're saying it's a hundred, but it's not, it's 10. But it seems like a hundred with your phone. Now, this does not have exactly the same problem as, as the other clip-on thing without the light, the, the macro lens that we used before, the hundred millimeter macro lens but it does have some difficulty staying on the right camera. But it turns out you don't actually need an app to keep it on the same camera. You just have to click on the, the hold button. There's a hold button on it. It's kind of like the exposure lock on your regular camera, that if you punch that, it stops trying to change the lens. I discovered this after making a whole video about it not being able to do that. But a it appears to be able to do it with this. Now, let's be honest, this is a lens and that's it, it's a lens, but it's a glass lens. This isn't made of resin like a lot of lenses are, which is why they color the light, they're, they're not 
They're, they don't have uh, precision ground surfaces and they just look pretty terrible. This is an actual glass lens that has been properly ground by a glass maker. And uh, the actual um, diopter of this is uh, four. So it's a four diopter lens, which means it's giving you uh, 10 times magnification. Apexel claims that you can get four centimeters from the back of the clip to the, to the lens. Uh, and that that is enough for virtually all cell phones today. Now, I went down to the mall and I tried to measure all the cell phones I could find, but people were getting very upset with me for grabbing their cell phones, so I stopped doing that. And uh, I don't know if it was going to fit all of them. It fit most of them. Uh, I didn't come across one it didn't fit. Um, and it fits mine, and mine is that gargantuan big fire. I've lost it or I'd show it to you and this clips onto that okay even with the case on it so that's what you that's what you need and when you do you're going to be quite surprised I mean really quite surprised because thanks to this light you're able to really see things quite clearly your working distance with this is somewhere between three and five millimeters that's about the same for a nikon 10 times cfi plan objective no it's half that it's pretty close this is the working distance of a mitu toyo 50x so it's close you it, it means you've got to get your head right down there on the, on the table with the well you don't do you because you don't look through a phone yeah i was thinking of something else a camera with your phone you can be at arm's length but your phone needs to be down within three to five millimeters of your subject but because of this built-in light you don't have to worry about there not being enough light which there wouldn't be at this magnification now apexel wanted us to know everything about this thing. So they gave me some specs. The paperwork tells you that this is uh, not only a glass lens, but it is an FMC coated lens. And I thought, well, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. I thought, is that fluorinated molybdenum chromate coatings, which I've never heard of either. It turns out, no, no, it's not. It's, it's just shorthand for fully multi-coated FMC. So it tripped me. It's not anything fancy. It's just got coatings on it. But the coatings help. They help keep it clean. They knock down on the flare. And I'll be honest, all kidding aside, this thing it takes some, some pretty amazing close-up pictures. Uh, I'm going to show you some pictures that I've taken with this. And uh, I, I was surprised and delighted. Now, the light has to be on. You have to have light because when you're three millimeters on top of something, you aren't going to see anything without light. So the light has to be on. The thing needs to be fully charged. And honestly, your depth of field is, is a cell layer. But it is possible to get some really clever pictures. And this would be great for just for the fun of it, shooting ants or whatever little bugs are crawling around. Just a fun, easy way to, to take pictures. Now, unlike with the bigger lens, which you know I loved for video, uh, this is not a great lens for video uh, because of the fact that your field of view is so limited and your uh, depth of field is so incredibly shallow. Uh, you really need to just frame a shot and take the picture, but it does take great pictures. Uh, well, it takes great pictures for an inexpensive, throw it in your pocket, uh, microscope lens for your, uh, for your phone. So this is not anything special in terms of what it is and what it does. It's a magnifying glass uh, for your phone uh, that has a nice diffused light around it, which is handy and it works. But what they have done is they have really made this quite nice. It's about a 45 millimeter focal length uh, job. The lens is not small. It has, a, it has an exit pupil, I think, of 2.3 millimeters. That was in their specs. You know, don't give a photographer specs because we'll read them and uh, we'll comment on them. It has an aperture of f1.8. The exit pupil diameter is 2.3 millimeters. The exit pupil is the size of the, the aperture looking from the back and it's 
what you would expect, 2.3. Working distance, 3.6 to 5 millimeters. That is awfully, awfully close. But then again, it's a microscope lens. What do you expect? And what it doesn't say in the paperwork here is it's just a tremendous amount of fun. It's great fun. It does a great job. It's a four diopter, 45 millimeter uh, close up microscope lens. Costs less than 30 bucks. You can get it at the uh, Apexel US Amazon store. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll have a lot of fun with it. This is a great stocking stuffer. Uh, give to, to all your friends. Give me one. I'm going to have to give these back probably because the electron microscopes are expensive. Now, another thing about this uh, that makes it a really pretty good deal for something with this much magnification is they warranty this for a full year. So if you buy this and you have problems with it or it doesn't work or the, the, the light goes wonky on you, anything like that, they'll, they'll fix it or replace it. I think they'll just replace it probably. Check the show notes. You'll see all the information on where you can go to get yourself one of these and uh, yeah, get one, have fun with it. And a book, I forgot, a book. Last time we uh, had the electronics book and the book before that was the Audubon insect book. This is the other insect guide that I use. Uh, it's the National Wildlife Federation Field Guide to Insects and Spiders. And it's laid out very differently, but it is equally brilliant photography, lovely photographs, excellent uh, descriptions of, of your insect with information on habitat and range and all that type of stuff. So this, uh, together with the Audubon, are my two go-tos. I've got about 10 of these different books, but these are the two that I keep on my desk all the time because I'm always using these for identification. That would be anybody who photographs insects would be thrilled to, to receive either one of those books. They are top-notch. So Oh, the giveaway. So I said I was going to give away one of these Apexel microscope lenses in this video, and I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to give away five of them, but I'm going to make you work for it. I have to tell you a very short story. I have a brother, and he's an idiot. And for Christmas, I bought him a telescope. I thought that was a nice present. This is the telescope. All that's left of it. You're probably thinking, doesn't a telescope have more to it than just that? It appears to be just an empty tube. Well, it is now, but it wasn't when I gave it to him. He took it apart. He took it apart to see what was inside it. And apparently it was a dead mouse, which is probably why they gave me this for free, because it was smelling rather bad when we brought it home. But anyway, it was still a Christmas present and he should have been more grateful. Uh, but anyway, he decided that um, he'd see what was in it. So he took it apart. And there's a lot of pieces in a telescope. When I brought it home, it had legs and it had doodads that you look through and it had things in it inside this tube. They had things in there. Now it doesn't have anything. It's just the metal tube because he took apart everything he didn't know what it was, and that's all that was left. And this is all that he took out. So this is it. This is, um, this is all the bits that came out of it. Yeah. It has LEDs and, and circuit boards and things with num numbers on them. This is a hat, a tiara, I think, and a whole a whole big bucket of incredibly interesting looking screws and bolts. He took it apart. <laughs> he took it apart down to the last bits that couldn't be broken into smaller bits, like washers that are springs as well. Now pay attention. This is the important part. So if you want to, to win your very own Apexel's non-electron uh, microscope, regular microscope lens, then all you have to do is be one of the five closest in guessing how many pieces there are in one of these electronic digital series Telestar by Mead. If anybody actually hits the number, I am going to give you a, a homemade 
invention that I just invented and made today and tested today and it works and it will be an incredible thing to have because there's only going to be three of them yeah would you like that do you, do you photograph butterfly wings if you do you need this it's um, idiot proof I tested it on my brother if you can guess the exact number I will build one of these things for you and you'll be famous because you own it you won't be you won't be famous. Nobody will know or care. That's it. Third day of Christmas. Have you not written your comment yet? You have to write a comment with the number in it, obviously. And I am going to leave the comments open for 24 hours after this video is released by YouTube. So the second YouTube releases it, the clock starts. And 24 hours later, the clock stops. And the five closest to the actual number of parts will win their very own Apexels microscope lens. And it'll be a thing. This was the third day of Christmas. It seems like we've already gone all the way through Christmas and we're in January, doesn't it? Well, that must just be me. See you on the fourth day.